Uh, guys, it's KTS360 here again, and I'm doing another episode of the Let's Play that I am doing of LA Noir. This is case four, and it's paused on the little backsplash when he goes to his army days. So let's let's watch this. Let's watch this shiz. And your ability to give them frankly and truthfully directly affect your chances of successfully becoming a Marine officer. Let's see this guy's describing on the floor. Um, how an officer should act. Esprit de corps. Merrill, 10. Franklin, 8. Weiss, 8. Donahoe, 6. Kowalski, 6. Hudson, 5. Kelso, 2. Leadership. Donahoe, 8. Franklin, 7. Merrill, 6. Kowalski, 6. Weiss, 5. Hudson, 5. Kelso, 1. Canada, Kelso. Oh, we got low scores. I'm sorry, Captain, but I joined the Marine Corps to fight the enemy, not get days. involved in this schoolboy chicken shit. Kelso, in my office now. Ooh. That guy's got a weird face. It's strange. For every cop, there's the case that makes you. Gives you that leg up, gets you recognized as a shining new star in the squad. The case that you solve that shows that you have the gumption, the gung ho, the get up and go to make you stand out from your average. This guy's voice is familiar. Oh, gunshot. Look at that woman still smiling. What's. <laughs> LAPD, could you stand clear of the body, please? Has anyone called an ambulance? We've called an ambulance and the police, but I'm afraid he's dead. Oh, okay. Wasn't really much point in calling the okay, ambulance, then, was there? further back and move along. It's your choice, but make it quick, people. Hey, Cole. You got here quick. My beat crosses 7th Street. Okay. You're first reporting, then. We'll get a perimeter going and move the crowd on. You better see what you can find out before the homicide dicks show up. I'll be with you in a moment. I swear. Alright. Oh, stay back. Right. this is our first search of a crime scene, guys. Broad daylight. Crowded street. Now I've seen everything. Let's check his head. No, doesn't appear to be any bleeding of the ears. Letter. These pearl earrings are made out to see oh, that's my real name. Pearl earrings. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get made some pearl earrings. I should have got them like 50 years ago, but... That is everything. What are you checking? Shells. Shell cases. Stuff like 32s. I was married by a judge. Ask Sir, I'm Officer Phelps. What exactly did you see? I heard the shots. Uh, I thought it was a car backfiring. Uh, I saw a girl run at the shoe store. Okay. Are you telling me that? The witness oh, can wait sorry about you and everyone. I'm a bit tired. You know, some people haven't seen dead people. FN Browning. Serial number zero one one three eight. I need to run it by a gun store. Oh, cool. Look down, I found all the clues. Let's get an interview this bitch. Speak to the witness before homicide arrives, Phelps. If you think she's lying, don't be afraid to get forceful. Verbally, of course. And don't accuse her of anything without proof. Lawyers love that shit. And if you're sure she's straight up, Try the general approach. See what you can coax out of her. Okay. All right. I, I want to see. Don't you people have anything better to do? Uh, can I can I help you, sir? I'm Officer Phelps, Miss. I'm here about the shooting. Did you know the victim? <laughs> he was my boss, Mr. Gage. 
Mr. Gage's first name. Everett. And you are? Galleta. Clovis Galleta. Clovis Galleta. Why does everyone look so much older than they actually are in this game? Do you think you could tell me exactly what happened, miss? I look around the shops at lunch. I was in a store when Mr. Gage, my boss, bursts in yelling that I'm late on my lunch. And? We came back. I was angry. I walked in front. I heard shots. I turned and saw Mr. Gage fall. <laughs> She's obviously lying. She won't even look at me. You're lying, Miss Galetta. You know what happened and why. You're going to tell me. There's nothing to tell. I've done nothing wrong. How can you prove different? Your pearl earrings, Miss Galetta. You've been paying for them for a whole year. Stop lying and tell me what happened at the jewelry store. Oh, God. I won't lose the earrings, will I? You could lose your freedom, you little fool, if you don't Ooh. stop obstructing a murder investigation. Mr. Kalu. Edgar Kalu. He runs the jewelry store. I assume he does. He's showing me a lovely watch. Mr. Gage bursts in. Mr. Kalu gets very angry with Mr. Gage, and they start yelling at each other. Mr. Gage tells me that all of the things in the store are junk, nickel-plated, made in Japan, and yells at me to get back to work. Then what happened? We get back here, and I hear a loud bang. Mr. Gage clutches at his back. I hear another bang. And another, and another. Mr. Gage falls to his knees. It looked very painful. Okay, I assume it did. Which jewelry store? Hartfields. Broadway, between 5th and 6th. Did you see the person who shot Mr. Gage? Of course I did. Mr. Callow looked very angry. He kept firing the gun. He kept pulling the trigger. He threw the gun in a bin and turned and walked away. Yeah. You're making me angry, Miss Galetta. Is that what you want? Tell me why Mr. Kalu shot Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage hates Jews. A lot of people do. It's not my fault if he has nice things. Oh, it's a little bit of racism going on here. Is Jewish How many people racist? I don't know. I don't know. Remember. Let's just say Judaism. No, Judaism is actually like when you're a Jew. So do you know what? I don't care, to be honest. They were so loud. Oh, she's she's really upset and shaken by it. I need you to concentrate, Miss Galetta. Even minor details can become important later on. Well, there was one bang, and then another, and then three very quickly close together. Five. Thank you for your help, ma'am. You've been very brave. We'll need you to make a formal statement about what happened to Mr. Cage. Does that mean I can still collect my... my... Never mind. Yes, officer, I'll make a statement. Sorry, I'm just checking something out. Alright. Sorry, I had a call, I had a message on Skype, so I was just checking it out. We have the murder weapon. And the murderer. The girl saw it all. 
Our killer works at a jewelry store called Heartfields. That's a couple it of was lies. It was the butler with a with, with a banana Tate. in the, the, the study. And the body was dumped here. God, you people know nothing. <laughs> 